I remember seeing him last year. Who? Who? Okay, Coach uh, Grant McCaslin is here along with uh, Chance McMillan and Joe Toussaint. Coach, when you're comfortable, if you could start us off with some general comments about the game. Yeah, uh, what a what a fantastic team Houston is. Um, you know, we knew going into the game that we had to play our best to give ourselves a chance to win. Obviously, hoped we'd have Darian Williams. He wasn't able to go. He tried in, in warm-ups, and he did everything he could around the clock to play and just couldn't go. Um, and so we were a little short-handed, but man, at the half, we closed the gap thanks to chance. I thought our competitiveness, our defense, our scrap was where it needed to be. But in the second half, their guard just took over. Um, we, we struggled to defend the three-point line and really their ability to break us down and put us in ball screens and move the basketball got us on our heels. And uh, we, we tried to probably get too much back too quickly, turn the basketball over, and that's what great teams do to you. So uh, hats off to Houston. They've got a great team. But this team is excited about playing in the NCAA tournament. And we've got a lot to play for, and we want to get back and get healthy and be ready to compete. And this team will, and we've got some great days ahead. Okay, remember to raise your hand if you've got a question. Give us your name, your affiliation. Okay, we'll go here on the front row on the left, Coach. Nathan Geese, Lubbock Avalanche Journal. Grant, uh, shorthand is just kind of the way you guys have been for the last couple of weeks now. Is there anything you kind of take or learn about your team from tonight, being able to make that comeback and just, just kind of fading down the stretch, I guess? Did you take anything away from how your team responded to the early adversity? Yeah, uh, two areas that we wanted to be great in. One of them was how do you rebound against this team? Because it's one of the elite rebounding teams. And we know that's been a source of, of you know, uh, a lot of our losses and games that we didn't play great is because of rebounding. And, you know, they didn't miss a ton of shots in the second half, but they ended up with 10. We actually out-rebounded out them in the game, um, which I think says a lot about these guys' competitiveness and um, – that's, that's one area that we'll take as a positive going forward. And if we can do that in the NCAA tournament, we'll have a chance to advance. Okay, let's go on the right side on about the fourth row. Uh, Justin Williams from The Athletic. Coach, this is the second time you played Houston this year. I know everyone talks about the monster trap and their metrics are great. But just from a sideline perspective, what makes them so tough? What do they do in the game that can help them go on those runs and keep teams from scoring for five minutes or so? Yeah, well, I, um, you know, I, I talked to a lot of people going into this game and it was like, how do we get them on their heels enough to where you get open shots? And everybody said, like, whenever you get a good look at the rim, you got to shoot. Because their ability to close space and their closeouts are as good as I've seen. I mean, you just don't get very many rhythm shots against them. And when you do, I thought one possession in particular sticks out in my mind. We did a decent job finally of getting – the ball moved and it got one more to Kerwin and I thought he had a good look and the next thing you know the space was closed and he closed out made him shoot a little quicker than he wanted to and when they're locked in and the way they rotate it's even as good as the trap is and the way they put two on the ball with their length it's their rotations and their ability to run people off the line that I think makes them and then you get in the paint and you think you got an angle and they got length to contest it and it's just always somebody in between you and the basket with length and athleticism makes it extremely difficult let's go left side that third row uh pete christie from kcbd for chance and joe uh just talk about that 16 point deficit you battle back uh tie it at 37 early in the second half uh just being under man and battling a team that you know many think could win the ncaa tourney uh just talk about that big comeback who would you like first uh, Joe is fine. Yeah. Um, I just feel like we just defended. I mean, coach gave us a good uh, game plan for defense, and uh, we actually executed it, and that's why we came back. You know, we were we were tough for that that little stretch right there, and then um, in the beginning of the second half, uh, we gave up you know like two rhythm threes, and then they took off from there. So you know, just little defensive mistakes that can't happen. Yeah, I would agree with Joe. Um, we just fed off our defense because we feel like our offense can just come to us. So that's how we started off that little run. And then, as Joe said, them two threes that started off the half, uh, it was hard to come back.
got a uh, question on the uh, television platform in the back. Yeah, Faith Douglas from KLBK. Coach, uh, two totally different games here in this tournament. What did you learn from, I guess, having such a successful game yesterday and then today's game? Well, you know, all things considered, that's a, th those three guards are elite. I mean, Jamal Shedd took the game over, I thought, by just distributing. He was having a hard time scoring, and I thought our guys put ourselves in great position. And then he ends up with 10 assists. It's kind of what great point guards do. When they're not scoring great, they include other people. Um, and then LJ and Emmanuel making threes at that rate with that kind of space. And they got a lob threat, too, at the rim. So you're always in these situations where you better make them move backwards. And for our team to finish games, and we haven't been able to finish either game. We've gotten close for 25 minutes, for 20 minutes, and that's where the physicality and the ability to, to fight and compete with depth is so important against them. And if there's anything I'll tell you is we've got the right guys. We just need to add a couple more that are healthy so that we can finish this game. And I like our game plan. I like our competitiveness. I didn't do a good enough job when we went with that smaller lineup of giving us a way to score with the rate that they were scoring at. And if I can do a better job with that, uh, I, I know I could help our team in that situation. But ultimately, that's a fantastic team that gave us um, trouble all night long. Got a question here on the front row on the left. Yeah, well, uh, for both the players, Joe and then Chance, if you can, the next couple of days, everybody's going to be talking about Texas Tech. Uh, who are these guys? Looking at you guys on paper, they're not around you. You guys are around yourselves all day, every day. Who are the Red Raiders, and what do people need to know about this team heading into next week? Hey, yeah, bro. Who would you um, want first? Um, the Red Raiders, uh, we are tough competitors, and we will not give up under any circumstance. Uh, we're going to always fight. We're going to give it our best, and that's who we are. Uh, for me, we're just a team that believe in each other. I mean, we're, we're a bunch of brothers who band greatly together, you know. Um, I feel like we all believe and compete at a high rate. And so I feel like at the end of the day, you know, we're, we're always going to go down with a fight. I mean, we're not just going to stay down. And um, I feel like that's who Texas Tech is. Let's go on the r right side about the fourth row back. Coach, just a quick one. Do you expect to have Darian back for next week? Yeah, and, and he tried to give it a go. And if you guys saw him in the locker room, you know, he was, he was in full tears, you know, at the 15-minute at the mark uh, of the warm-up session because he just was devastated and he wasn't able to play. And he kept saying he wanted to try and he'd go back out. And so – um, we've, we've had this happen to him not too long ago, and he was able to come back and be healthy. And so I would anticipate by the NCAA tournament, he'll, he'll be ready. Okay, here on the left side. Hey, coach, uh, you know, you, you don't have to sit here and, and beg the committee to get in the NCAA tournament. This team is in Sunday. The USA is open to the public to come be a part of the whole who, what, when, or where it's going to happen. Uh, can you just talk about this team and how proud you are to get in the tournament in your first year? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we, we never tried to look forward. This is the truth with our team. We've really tried to be in the moment and try to figure out how the, we can be the best we can be. And now that we get to turn the page at this point in the season, we had the opportunity to finish, and these guys were extremely diligent to be about how do we improve. Um, and that's allowed us to get our name called on Sunday. So anybody, Pete, thanks for the, the tip. We are going to have it open at the United Supermarkets Arena, have people for the selection show. It's going to be a celebration. We're excited to find out where we play. Then it will be doing what we've been doing. Be diligent about finding out who we play. Give ourselves the best chance to win one game. That's all that matters. And these guys will be ready and prepared. But love to have people out at the USA on Sunday for the selection show. Come be a part of the celebration. These guys are worth it. Okay, we've got time for a couple more questions. Any takers? All right, Coach. Thank Thanks you. Wreck them. Appreciate it. Chance.